As we record this, uh, tomorrow marks the anniversary of 9-11, when the Twin Towers in New York City were brought down, and uh, about 3,000 people died. And a lot of Christians uh, get tangled up in the debates and the, um, the raw feelings that, that remain from that event and uh, the people who appear to be pushing it the other way. And the most recent example of this is the proposed mosque at uh, uh, about a block away from Ground Zero on the site of a building that was itself damaged by the landing gear of one of the one of the planes. And um, and many Christians feel stuck. They feel like to put the mosque there is offensive and at the same time they say but isn't fair fair I, you know don't we, don't we all have freedom of speech and religion and, and so on. Well, yes, we do. We should have freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and all those, and that, uh, all those sorts of things, and that should include the Muslims. But we cannot have those things on secularist principles. What these debates are revealing, um, the proposed and, and aborted, aborted at the last minute Quran burning in Florida, the proposed mosque, the, the, uh, the Secularism presupposes, like like every religion that f forms and establishes a society, secularism presupposes a society full of secularists. Secularism cannot handle a society full of competing fundamentalisms. Uh, so you've got evangelical Christians, believing Christians on one side, you've got diehard um, uh, Islamists who are insisting on Sharia law, and they are, and many times they're coming into Western societies and demanding uh, that Sharia law be honored in you know within their communities and and so on. Uh, what this is, it, what what this is revealing is that the, our secularist society is on its last legs and it can't process this. You can't have free speech for no particular reason. You can't have freedom of assemb assembly for no particular reason. You have to have some sort of transcendent arche that grounds what we're doing. These freedoms that we have, these Bill of Rights freedoms that we have, are freedoms that grew in Christian soil. This is a plant that doesn't grow in other forms of soil. You don't have these, these freedoms that people are clamoring for in New York City the freedoms that Muslims are clamoring for in New York City are not freedoms that they or any of us could have in Mecca or Cairo. These freedoms are Christian-based historically. Secularism is a Christian heresy, and as such it cannot sustain long-term the fruit of a Christian civilization. Genuine tolerance, real tolerance, tolerance with a backbone is something that Christian societies can have, Christian civilizations can have. Secularism cannot have it. And, and these um, Muslims playing brinksmanship with the, the secularists are revealing, are, are revealing the fault lines, are revealing the inconsistencies.